<clears throat> hey, hi, hello, what's up, what's good, welcome to this video in which we are going to see what does the world think of Albania? What what do you type in the Google search bar? What, what do you type in there? Like, why is Albania this, why is Albania that? Let's see and just try to, like, I'm going to try to answer some of these questions for you cause since I'm since I'm Albanian, if, if you didn't know already. Okay, so the first one is, why is Albania not in the EU? Come on, come on, man. Why you gotta do us like this? Come, come on, man. Yep. And the second one, which answers actually the first question, is why is Albania so poor? Yep, that's uh, that's probably the reason why we, we are not in the EU because the European Union sees us. Look at this poor pieces of shit. What what are they going to do in the Europe? The first uh, result from Wikipedia says. Albania submitted answers to the European Commission's uh, questionnaire, but candidacy, candidacy, I think I said that correct, uh, status was not granted by the EU in December uh, 2010 due to a long-lasting political row in the country. The European Commission's proposed uh, visa-free travel for Albania. And yeah, that's true. We do not uh, require, we are not required to have visa permissions to travel in the EU, but we cannot stay more than three months in um, in one state so yeah uh, and we and we cannot work if we were allowed to work in the european union oh baby believe me there would be this much albanians left like only the only the the grandparents only only those only those would stay but like there would be this much albanians in uh, in today's albania staying if we could actually work in the european union if we actually search why is albania so poor the first result that comes up is uh, an article from living water adopt a child organization for almost half a century albania was under a totalitarian communist government until uh, 1991 and 1992 the communist leaders in albania dismantled upper class land owners and many middle-class professionals, clergy and intellectuals. In many ways, this left the country at a ground level. So basically, in a nutshell, this is Albania. Like, this explains the, the entirety of the Albanian history. Like, why is Albania so poor right now? Is because, like, for 45 years, it was under a dictatorial regime led by Enver Hoxha, in which he destroyed totally the upper class of the Albania, the intellectuals, etc. And only the communist bureaucrats were given like higher positions and were paid actually a little bit more than the, than like our grandparents, which were like lower class. And yeah, stuff like this happens in Albania all the time, baby. Yep, just people fucking, fucking raving that engine. Let's, let's go. This is Albania, baby. Welcome to Albania. So yeah, pretty much Enver Hoxha destroyed the entire economy and, you know, it collapsed after him because it was no point because the country was entirely closed. We didn't import shit because, uh, yeah, they were like the capitalists and we do not do business with them. We have our own communist ideology, which was like a total, total shithole like this makes me want to do another video about communism because i see a lot of like people especially like from the west like in the usa and stuff saying like oh yeah you know communism is good and stuff like that we should try listening to marx and shit like that oh boy believe me uh we have suffered the communist regime for 45 years here in Albania and my grandparents are like it's fresh and my grandparents like lived in that regime and oh I tell you it it fucking destroyed lives like it, it has killed more people <laughs> than you could ever imagine. Let's move to some brighter questions if if there are any like not this you know why is Albania so poor come on we're we're not poor we're the third question is why is Albania called Albania? We as Albanians uh, have the name Albania because uh, there was like one Illyrian tribe which we are descendant of uh, and they were the Albans so yeah that's why it's Albania from from that Illyrian tribe and uh, we call ourselves uh, Shciparia uh, because I, I don't know because that's what we want I guess 
because it's like the Albanian language, which is like Jua Shqipe, and that Shqipe is Shqiparia, which is Albania, I guess. So yeah, Balkan stuff, like, uh, it's a little bit hard to explain. Okay, the next one is, why is Albania a meme? Yeah, I, I mean, are, are we a meme? I guess, yeah, we are. Yeah, you know what, in the next episode we are going to see some memes about Albania, but like, let's just see this one, what's, what, why are we a meme, baby, tell me, what's, why, what are we memeing about, alright, so we have 58 Albanian meme ideas, ooh, tell me, tell me those ideas, let's go, the love between an Albanian woman and an Albanian man is very special, each of them from the other half of the eagle, what? Each of them from the other half? Oh, form! Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm turning blind. Uh, each of them form uh, the other uh, half of the eagle. So they are both the same halves of the eagle. Wow, like what does that mean? Once they're together, they're united. They're, they are one again. Two heads, but only one heart. Oh. Yeah, my parents are divorced, so I can't relate to this one. Sorry. Guess this is not like a meme. This is some, like, feel good to be Albanian bullshit. Yeah, guys, you're gonna find a lot of this shit in the web. Like, you know, Albanians fucking this. Yeah, I, well, it's going to take a while for you, like, to really understand if you want why uh, places like the Balkans and, you know, Albania, why we actually feel this sense of pride okay the next one is why is albania a muslim country okay let's see what google has to say about this the islamization of albania occurred as a result of the ottoman conquest of the region beginning in 1385 the Ottomans, through the administration and military brought islam to albania through various uh, policies and tax uh, incentives trade networks and uh, transitional religious links yep uh, that that's uh, again absolutely 100 percent correct the turks invaded us and they wanted us to turn muslim uh, you know they imposed taxes like the rich people that could afford to pay taxes they were actually catholic like the urbania was the majority was was catholic at the time and the ones that the the rich families that had the money to pay the taxes they kept their religion uh but like the the majority was poor and they couldn't so they converted to muslim oh yeah why was albania catholic yeah because the roman empire invaded us so before that we were all just like atheists we would just pray to the sun and stuff like that so yeah albanians are not really religious people the religion was imposed to us by conquering and you know stuff like that by violence okay why are albanians so proud yep yeah, that's a, that's a top search because, oh yeah, the world knows that we are proud. But they actually d don't know why we are proud and hopefully, yeah, we will find some answers. Because I don't know either. Okay, so one guy says, I finally understand Albanian pride. I've been angry with my fellow Albo Americans <laughs> for how much pride we have over our own country uh, even as they complain about its shortcomings, like what's there to be proud of, yes, exactly. But in the last few years, I've been reading a lot of Albanian history, including the, yeah, there's a, the, like a bunch of books, I don't know. I have realized that Albanians are as proud as they are because for a long time, they didn't have anything else and have been historically, systematically disenfranchised and mistreated from the Ottoman era, the 20th century being particularly thorny, uh, with many failed attempts to self-rule. When your culture, language and land have been constantly under fire from before, your sense of self was properly formed, yeah, you're going to be proud of who you are. At any rate, I now look at Albanians' development in a different context, and I am proud of the progress she has made like she has like the albania has made or like your friend did you just call albania a girl you it hasn't always been easy but albania is improving and will only 
continue to do so at the time well i mean this is a really optimistical point of view but i would say yeah i mean throughout our history like we have been you know invaded conquered by others but let's just don't you know act like this doesn't happen anywhere else in the world like you know <laughs> there's always been wars like you know when there are like two country next to each other if like there's a smaller one the big one is trying to conquer it like that's how you know it used to be now it's like it's a little bit better but you know you see like you know the the russian and ukrainian war which is happening and you know some of this stuff still continues but uh, the question is this are we as albanians going to use this as a pretext like as an excuse to uh, to continue to be like oh yeah they did us wrong yeah they tried to conquer us they tried to plot you know against us or are we just going to try to you know better ourselves in order to improve and then you know be proud of what we actually are right now uh, i think we should focus on the present and on the future and you know let the past speak for itself okay let's go to the second search result why are albanians so beautiful oh <laughs> oh thank are we are we though beautiful yep, yep. thank you thank you very much for this okay so it's a post on quora Quora? Okay, I think it's Quora. Uh, why are Albanian women so stunningly beautiful? Oh boy, I oof, I think I sense some simping incoming. The most beautiful Balkan woman and I dare say one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen is 22 year old Maggie Luca. I think this is a little bit of simping but you know, I will absolutely not deny that Albanian girls are beautiful. You know, I'm not trying to stay single, though. Yeah, but I would also say that beauty is subjective. If you are used to your type of people, of your, like, race, like, you might find beautiful people from, from other eth ethnicities and races. So, yeah, I would say beauty is subjective and every race has its its own beauty so every race every ethnicity is beautiful okay so we have something here that's like albanian hair oh my god what it what it, oh what the yeah baby i see a lot of bold people in this oh yeah here in the balkans yep you're you're gonna become bold baby yeah we are bold because we have a lot of testosterone because we are real men Ugh. i don't know i th i think i've read somewhere that uh, testosterone is uh, related to hair loss but i don't know the studies say that stress is also a main factor in hair i don't find but even genetics one of my grandparents is really bold and i'm gonna turn bold as well because i think i you know i took some of his genes so yeah that's uh you you don't get all the all the good genetics you get some of the shitty ones sometimes so yeah that was the video for the day thank you for watching if you have any other questions about albania uh ask them and maybe i'll gonna i'm gonna make like a video answering your question thanks for watching you make sure to leave a like a subscribe you know to turn that bell on and see you in the in the next one bye